Hi there, everyone. It is currently the 14th of September, 2012. You're currently looking at a visible slash infrared imagery of Super Typhoon Samba now, or Violent Typhoon, from the Japan Meteorological Agency. And actually, on that note, via their scale, this is the first violent typhoon of the season there and thus it is the most strongest typhoon thus far for 2012 currently winds gusting at 150 knots uh, to put that in perspective that's actually a 200 in 70 kilometers per hour a very strong and intense storm system pushing off there towards the north and as we can see here on the satellite the visible slash infrared imagery a very defined and clear eye i don't think you really can get too much clearer than this but also a very symmetrical shape with inflow coming in from the west and also from the east so an absolute monstrous of a storm at this time and is continuing to push off there towards the north still bringing some heavy rainfall across the philippines though i would not be surprised if we see some reports of flooding out of Manila actually over about 200 millimeters could be expected throughout the next 72 hours and over 100 millimeters has been recorded in this area in about the past 24 hours more importantly we're talking about Saturday into Sunday as this storm tracks off there towards the north it will be setting eyes on the southern Japanese islands this big chain right in here including Okinawa and at least at this time it does look like it's going to continue tracking that north northwesterly pattern just towards the west of Okinawa and see this big band of cloud cover here on as this long wave trough or a frontal area that's going to be coming in and that's going to usher it off basically towards the north around South Korea so at this time though it does look like Okinawa you're actually going to be remaining in the right front quadrant of this storm system and if we currently look at JMA's outlook on this 15 UTC or about midnight Japan standard time you can see that right front quadrant moving over there oh, going basically dead center over Kumiji here with remaining just towards the left of uh, Okinawa and that puts you in kind of the worst weather here if it takes this direction you see that right front quadrant right in that area well the winds around these storm systems always go counterclockwise most of us know that so thus with that four momentum the max winds are going to really be pushing on shore just towards the right of the storm or towards the east of it and you have to think of it kind of this way if you have a storm moving forward at 10 knots and the max winds of the storm system are 10 knots actually here in the right front quadrant you might be seeing upwards of 20 knot winds so we're seeing that here at the time of landfall you might even see winds gusting up upwards of about 150 knots when a storm moving and about 15 kilometers an hour so you have to combine those together and just with that said I think that uh, this area is really going to be hit the hardest this is the time here on Thursday going into Friday to start taking the proper precautions take in all your loose objects from outside go out and get all those vital items that you need water uh, if you are living in a rural areas a generator always does help make sure you have it in a properly ventilated place but also any other items so stock up on some canned food and etc the good news though is that much of Japan the southern Japanese islands especially are very battle hardened when it comes to typhoons and what that means is that most of the buildings out here are built to withstand even a super typhoon strength storm now I do want to point out at least some good news is here and even looking at the joint typhoon warning centers outlook on this and also they kind of agree up with JMA is that right now this is a violent typhoon but it is expected to slightly weaken before approaching the southern Japanese islands here and that's really good news due to that trough coming in from the north some vertical wind shear is really going to start to increase from the west here that is going to weaken it out but granted weaken it out from say 140 knots to here by the time it CPAs uh, Okinawa basically the close, close proximity alert uh, it's still going to be 120 gusting to 145 knots if that is the case and you do get those 100 plus knot winds on the islands here that very well could cause some significant damage especially uh, to some loose debris flying around now once again though most of the places here are very battle hardened but you want to stay inside and ride the storm out if it does approach your island now I say your island vice Okinawa or Kumijima because this track very well could be wavering here in the next couple days and if it wavers just uh, say 50 kilometers one way towards the east or one way towards the west uh, really can make a big difference because the eye wall is not that thick at least at this time of the wind field is rather expansive but the actual eye wall where there's 100 gusting up to 150 knot winds are is only about a 
20 to 30 kilometers wide. So if it takes one of these model outlooks here that swings it off there towards the right, it actually might spare much of Okinawa. But if it takes the door towards the left, very well could be hitting some of these smaller Japanese islands and even Okinawa putting you into the right front quadrant of this storm system. So you're going to be wanting to watch this very closely into the next 24 and 48 hours. Continue to check in with Japan Meteorological Agency on their most least recent uh, forecasted track. But also, while I have this up here, look out there towards South Korea. Uh, Jeju-do, you're going to be wanting to watch this storm system as well because it very well could be impacting you. Talking about these intense winds near 100 knots, I do think that it's gradually going to weaken down as it approaches your area. Very well could be starting to go extra tropical as well. But still, some uh, destructive winds very well could be coming in your direction. So you're going to be wanting to take similar steps prep up for this storm, prepared if there is some power outages in your area, and definitely stay out of those low-lying areas. If you live near a river, as always, do keep a watch out for any local warnings. I know the Japan Meteorological Agency often issues flood advisories or significant flood warnings if they know some of these rivers are starting to rise up. But here is a GFS model outlook showing over the next several days. I know most of you do like seeing this. And as we go into Friday, then Saturday, you can see the storm system tracking off there towards the north. This is about Sunday at 06 Zulu Zoom Sunday early afternoon rain across the southern Japanese islands here but one thing I want to point out here for all the viewers in the Philippines even though the storms clear out there look at this long monsoonal trough feeding that heavy rainfall across Thailand you have been seeing some floods the last several days and now it does look like that monsoonal flow is going to continue to push into the Philippines all these feeder bands continuing to push off there towards the north into Sanba very well could be causing some flooding out there and once again in manila you're going to be wanting to take proper precautions as well continuous rainfall over several days uh well could cause some significant flooding here so we're going to be wanting to watch this through the next several days but that is all for right now though everybody thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comment box below and one other thing i do want to remind you i will be on nhk uh world throughout the day on friday giving you some live updates not just here in the western pacific but also worldwide but furthermore, uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and possibly Monday, I might be there in Okinawa. Uh, so you might see me walking around some of the streets there in Naha, trying to get some footage here with videographer James Reynolds. Still pending on the exact track of this storm. But right now, it does seem like a likely scenario. If I do not go there, though, I very likely will be staying here in Tokyo, continuing to give you some live cast updates throughout the weekend. So uh, do stay tuned here to the website and at the YouTube channel as well. And also, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Robert Spetta and follow the website at westernpacificweather.com. So please stay safe out there, though, everybody. Have a great day.